in order to make it so that you can get into it by interacting, we're going to want to go to Class Settings, and over on the Interfaces, we're going to add the Interact Blueprint Interface. This is for the Interactive Possession System. Always compile before you try and touch any of this stuff. Now, now we've got this, we want to have the Interact Request. But first, let's go and get the Possession System. So, Possession System, and while we're at it, the Lookout Info. So, there. Now, we're going to want to create a volume. We could add multiple volumes or whatever, but I'm just going to be simple here and have one giant volume. Uh, this is kind of a big vehicle, so 1,200, 800, 50. There, that is absolutely huge. If you somehow manage to miss getting into this vehicle, <laughs> that's that's honestly too big. Uh, Seven hundred, seven hundred, not thousand. Add like good enough. So we're just gonna call this the um, here possession system. Enter volume. So we'll just leave it at that default. Enter volume underscore zero one. Then the lookout system, we're gonna have an interact keyword of enter volume is active, set to true, and we're just gonna add two response nodes here with let's see drive and come on hover tank. So with that Got this ready now for the possession system. Let me think. Is there anything here that we more or less want to change? Not that it immediately comes to mind. Alright, so let's grab one of these arrows and make a copy and have an exit point. Exit point zero one. So this is where we're gonna spawn the player. Let's say if they get out on the back side of it, how about? We could actually reuse one of these hover points by just changing its naming, but yeah. So it could, uh, like a hover source point could actually function for both. But in this case, we're just going to have an exit point over here, and for good practice, we're going to have another exit point zero 02 over here. So first we'll try and get out there, and if that's blocked, then we'd get out here, and we could stick one on top of the tank, but yeah, you get the idea, I hope. So with that, the next area will be the interact request and the look at request. For the interact request, let's see, hover possession system. So get component, interactable components. So does this list from that thing contain whatever the look at direct the the yeah whatever that the looking at component is my the interact yes I think I might have messed up the name with that oh well So we have this, then interaction types, does this contains, by default I was just using three for entering and possessing stuff, one for opening doors and stuff, so make sure that this, both of these are returning true. So we've got the right component to interact with, and the controller is the right type of interaction. So if false, then we just go straight here. And if true, we could also do that, but I like to take the look at info system get is active and set array element. Since in our case we've got here we are, index zero, set it to false. So if we ever do actually start moving into this thing, uh, and I also forgot the most important part. <laughs>
interact input. Since we need to write all the possession system. That's the problem. I knew that that was wrong. Okay. Do not use the interact request. It's the interact notification one. I am too tired and I've been doing too much today. Okay, so take all the stuff, copy it. Just reconnect that as it was. Then going over to the interact notification. This is where we need to hook this up. So the interact component and the interaction types, yeah. And then when we would be possessing, we need to reference the interacting actor and then the interacting component. Accepted interaction type three. And there. So that's the interaction. Then over on the look at side, this one gets slightly more complex. Get map interactable components map. Now we use the find. The component that's being looked at is that contained inside of this thing. If tr false, then we'll just return this with doesn't accept look at. However, if true, then we also wish to get the is active. get a copy and using this value from the find since this tells us which value it gets along there we can use that now to this and we will now know if it's active so another branch here to see if we should be displaying that look at thing if false then we'll just go down here copy this paste it up here if true, then we will be accepting it, and the only two response types that we're using this type are response A and response B. You've got the other types if you need them, but if you only are using these, then just you can get by by only using them, and that's faster. So once again, drag this up here so that you're getting the appropriate response. Response B, response A. And with that, we should more or less have this system set up. So now I'm going to go down to the active possession system maps, the primary goal of this tutorial. So rubrints, uh, active possession, third person, blueprints. There we are. Get that guy. Take this, raise it up a bit so it doesn't go flying and auto possess there we are so now we got this guy and yep when you get into the vehicle you can get in and right i never did set up how to exit so You'll also notice that the vehicle kind of falls down when it's not being used, so we can fix that by making it so that here, forward, we'll just get the move forward, get this value, and the tick event, create a sequence node. So we still are spinning our blades. we will also use this for the forward event. So now even if there's no player in here providing these, otherwise you can just create the other event, but either approach works. There's a special event for this thing for when it's not being possessed to keep it hovering, but this method can also be used. And then, come up here, I prefer using E. So, E. When you tap E, you will use this node and the upper control reference get put up top. All right, so, exit. Wrong one, not upper. Ah, right. That 
that's the other one that I'd set up in advance. So I'm confusing which actor I'm working on, which is not good, but oh well. Or actually, yeah, I might as well just demonstrate it this time. Um, the hover tanks controller. There's the, let's see, not possessed hover tick. So you can also just use this node. And it more or less will do the same thing. It'll keep it hovering even when no one's inside of it. Alright, so now for the E part, you want our possession system. Exit. So, exit actor, possession system. I'm pressing this, check this, and afterwards we're going to confirm get is possessed to see whether or not our player is in fact left. And then get is active, set array element. So this way it will not tell someone else, or it will not show up if someone tries to look at to interact with the tank that you are in fact capable of interacting with it even when someone's already inside of it. And we want to re-enable that when we're done. So, do a not boolean. So only if we're not possessed will it return that this thing is active. So, Yep, now we got our big ass hover tank. And as you look up, you can see drive hover tank does show up there. This might be hovering a bit too high for a person of this stature to get into easily. <laughs> and like this, we now have a hover tank. So hopefully you found this to be somewhat informative. I am probably not the best person at making video tutorials. I am fully aware of that, but uh, especially since I'm trying to keep this short because I don't have much hard drive space and my recording software is bad and inefficient. <laughs> so yeah, this is how you will exit the actor. So, fire, in order to fire projectile, just spawn a projectile in the emitter location. Movements, you just added those couple events. The camera controls rotation part. The spinning of blades and when not possessed. The interact look at involves simply confirming that you are looking at the right component and that that particular thing is active, and then we will get the response. We're not. Interacting is similar. Make sure you got the right interaction type and it's the right component that the controller is supporting. And then you tell it to possess the person, and we'd also deactivate the look at, so the response. And on the viewport side, we got our big ol' interaction volume, some exit points for controllers, with the rotation speed that should probably be bumped up a bit on these. And the various components, hover sources with their naming, the root that is simulating physics for the hover controller, and then the name base one, turret one, and barrel one for the turret, along with spring arm zero and camera zero. So, hopefully, you found this useful. After this, I plan on doing some more tutorials, but hope you're having a good day.